Hey Dan here and in this video I'm answering a question sent in about how do you deal with a buzzy mind? In other words, an ever busy, always thinking, overwhelming mind. Now this question happened to be sent in from someone who identified themselves as an INFP personality uh, and I think there's some reasoning behind that and I'll talk about that in the video as well in terms of creative minds and how to handle this. So the first thing is in terms of having a busy mind is you're not alone. This is how we are all wired and why there is such a move towards things like uh, meditation or a wellness practice or whatever it is. But there's definitely certain things you can do to calm this down and have more direction, not just in the moment in terms of kind of a meditation Zen sense of having a peaceful mind, but in terms of overall in your life, in terms of being less maybe um, reactive and changing direction a lot and, and being very emotional and that sort of thing. It makes sense to me that the personality types like an INFP or an ENFP, more creative types tend to have a busy mind or have the sense of a buzzing mind. And if you look at a lot of great artists, there happens to be a correlation with things like alcoholism and drugs. And I think a big part of that is trying to calm our minds and trying to find that kind of peace because we can't turn off our heads. Now I'm all for having a glass or a bottle of wine when I stay up and write at night, but I also think there's some other ways to calm your mind and get that uh, freedom without having to necessarily indulge. So one of the absolute best ways to have more freedom in terms of your head to calm that buzzing mind is actually, believe it or not, to give yourself more structure. So you probably are someone who likes freedom. You don't like to be held down by rules. Me too, I understand. But giving yourself more structure will actually help you have a lot calmer of a mind. And you can do this in two different ways. One is big picture planning, like planning your week in advance or having goals in terms of what you're trying to accomplish, really having a focus on that. And that's gonna help you calm down in terms of always thinking about possibilities. If you have the kind of mind where one day you're thinking, hey, I could start that business. And then the next day you're thinking like, oh, maybe I'll you know, draw cartoons for a living. And the next day, oh, maybe I'll be a public speaker. If you have that kind of a crazy mind. I empathize with you, trust me. But one of the best ways to deal with it is to pick a goal, basically pick a target of where you're gonna focus and then give yourself direction, talk to yourself. And when you have these thoughts come up that tell you, hey, you know, maybe I wanna do this other thing or this other thing, and you're debating 20 different options for your life, just say, hey, Dan, remember last week we decided we're just gonna focus on this thing for the next month? Yeah, shut up, just do that one thing. And I'm not even kidding. Give yourself that direction. So set a focus and then if you need to, and I encourage it, have some self-talk where you just remind yourself, hey, this is where I'm focusing. Maybe next year I'll look at these other opportunities, but right now I'm gonna give myself a chance to succeed in this one. So the other place it's really important to direct your mind is in day-to-day -day activities and specifically how you're gonna spend your time and focus. So if you sit down to do your work, whether that's studying for school, working a job, or working on your own business, and you just sit down and kind of see what will happen, you're gonna open up your mind to everything and it's gonna be really hard to focus. Where if you plan out your day and say, okay, from 10 a.m. to noon, I'm gonna be writing. From two to four, I'll be reading or studying, whatever it is, you plan these things out. During that time, your job is to tell your mind to shut up and just do the main thing. So the same thing, if you're working on something and then you have these thoughts pop in of, I should be doing this. No, maybe I could do this. Oh, what about, uh, what about, you know, if I took a trip? No, tell your mind to shut up and actually just redirect yourself to the work at hand and say, you know, okay, I'll get back to that later. One thing that helps with this is if you keep a pen and paper by you, uh, not a text file, it's better if it's manual, and just write down these thoughts. So if a thought comes in like, oh, why don't I check on airfares? Or, oh, I wonder how that gets made. And you are about to go on that Wikipedia journey that never ends. I would encourage you just to write it down really quick and then get back to the task at hand rather than following those whims all the time. The more you train yourself to just focus on the one thing at a time and not follow these whims, these uh, crazy thoughts that come up, the easier it becomes. You build these habits and you, you strengthen that discipline to focus on one thing. 
And the reason this, in terms of focusing in the moment and also focusing on your life, like planning out is so important, is if you don't give yourself direction, your mind is naturally gonna go everywhere. What do you expect it to do? You're not directing it. You need to give yourself a place to go and then trust your discipline and that to get you there. But if you don't have that place to go, then you're asking your mind to think of every possibility, to play out every scenario, and you're just feeding this machine of the buzzing mind and it's gonna make it harder and harder to uh, be focused. And that for that reason, if you've been doing this for a long time, it's probably gonna take a little while to uh, change those habits. So this, the first couple months of trying to, be, trying to do things differently might be a bit harder, just stick with it. Now there's a whole second aspect to this and that's around your prefrontal cortex and strengthening that muscle. That's the part of your brain that's in charge of things like making decisions and focusing and where to direct your unconscious mind essentially. It's a lot weaker than your unconscious mind and that is why for most of us, we get overwhelmed by emotions and controlled by our unconscious mind, sometimes called our lizard brain or a reptile brain. And that's the part that's a lot more powerful, but more emotionally driven and not what we want to be controlling us necessarily in the moment or dealing with planning. So there's some ways to strengthen your prefrontal cortex and therefore have a lot more control over how you focus and where you focus. The best way, and I know this might be a uh, repetitive topic for some people, but is meditation. This is one of the things that's been proven to actually change brain matter and build up your ability to focus, change direction, um, just maintain that uh, part of your brain really well. So meditation to me is a no brainer, no pun intended, uh, in terms of strengthening that part of your brain. The other things though that you can do is around diet and exercise. What I found myself is if I'm eating like a protein, fat heavy diet, my brain works awesome. I can focus, I can think, I work a lot better. If I'm eating a lot of sugar, carbs, that kind of thing, I just find my brain doesn't work as well and I don't have the same ability to focus. So if you're on a very uh, sugar, kind of carb heavy, heavy diet, that's gonna weaken your brain's ability just to work at its best. And you might notice this where you kind of change directions or you don't have a lot of energy, all that. It could very much be tied to diet. And so try changing that up, adding fish oil to your diet, eating more fats, uh, healthy fats, any fat, well, not trans fat, but the other fats and, uh, and more protein. And you might find that actually really helps as well. And then lastly, exercise. Exercise just helps with the brain, with proper, uh, biochemistry, hormones, all that kind of stuff that I don't fully understand, but I know that exercise uh, is gonna really help you there. So takeaways from this video is to give yourself structure in terms of your days, how you spend your hours, and also on your weeks, your months, your year, like planning out and setting big goals, and then giving yourself mechanically what you need to uh, excel here and calm that buzzing mind, and that's gonna be Things like meditation, eating healthier fats and proteins, and then uh, exercising on a regular basis. If you've enjoyed this video, I want to thank you for watching and encourage you to subscribe to the channel because I'll be making a lot more videos on staying focused, productivity, and personality types as well. So if you've enjoyed this, there's lots more good stuff to come that I'm currently publishing every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on those and catch you in the next one.